Today we're at Rill Golf Club in North Wales. It's a nine hole links course. My handicap is now down to 16. Opening hole is a short par four and our tee shot finds the fairway. Our approach is from 135 yards, which is hit right on line. It is just short of the green. We chip one on and have a six footer for par. Catches the right side of the cup and we start the round with a solid par. Hole two is a par four, 342 yards. Our tee shot finds the fairway. We have around 160 yard approach to the green, but we miss short right in the rough. Now 40 yards, we're going to hit the pitching wedge out of this thick rough. Hopefully, get some green. Open face. So that's the on course analysis, a terrible lie. Just hoping to get it on the green in three. Catch too much of it and end up in the greenside bunker. We managed to scoop one back onto the green. Happy to be out of the bunker in one shot. Our left with an eight footer for bogey. Misses to the left. We caught a double bogey on hole two. Hole three is the first of the par threes. Around 145 yards to the middle of the green, going with a five iron. It's hit right on line, pitch mark just slightly to the back of the green. Just repairing the pitch mark there. Happy with the greening regulation and it's a 32 footer for a birdie. In reality it was just a lag putt to get close. We're left with a 4 footer to save par. Slides by to the left. And we card a 3 putt bogey on hole 3. Hole 4 is the only par 5 at Rill. And we get a great tee shot straight down the left around 200 yards. Our second shot is not good at all, leaked out to the right. Uh, terrible line in the rough, gonna, 184 gonna hit two pitching wedges to the green. So we're in the rough, just taking our medicine here, not going for a hero shot. Around a 90 yard pitch. It's hit well. We'll take that all day long. Pin high with a putt for par. It's a 10 footer. It lips out. And we tap in for a bogey, which could have been worse. Hole 5 is a medium length par 4. Now T shot finds the rough to the right. We smashed the hybrid from around 190 yards just to get it up there. And we have around a 40 yard pitch to the hole. On the green in 3. For the putt for par, it's a 20 footer. A good read for the putt, it stops dead on with the hole just to the left. And we take a bogey, and move on. Hole 6 is a short par 4. 
dog leg to the left, and our tee shot finds the fairway. We have around 125 yard approach to the green. Happy to be on the green in regulation. We have an uphill putt to 25 footer for birdie. Stops close, misses left, short. And we tap in for the easiest par of the day and move on. Hole 7 is the last of the par 3s, around 130 yards. And our tee shot is hit right on line. Big pitch mark on the green, have to repair that. And we have 12 footer for birdie. It's a downhill slider left to right. And it stops close. Read that putt okay. Just didn't get the break. We tap in. Another par goes on the scorecard. Hole 8 is a medium length par 4. And we lose the tee shot out to the right. In the rough. It's like 200. I'm just going to hit the hybrid down the fairway. Hopefully. So that's the on-course analysis. Just going to lay up down the fairway, hopefully. And that's what happens. We have around a 60-yard pitch to the green. Which is hit slightly thin, but we got away with it. It was heavy conditions this day. The ball stopped on the green. Nearly every ball was a mud ball. And we have a 20 footer to save par. Another one stops close. We caught a bogey on hole 8. Hole 9 is a really long par 4. Stroke index 1. Hardest hole on the course. Now T shot finds the fairway. We're a long way back, so this is just a layup. We find the left side rough. And I was struggling to see the flag here. There was not much wind on this day, so I couldn't get the aim point. It was hard to get the aim point. It was around 115 yard approach to the green. We missed the green to the left. Chip one on. And a left with this putt for bogey. And unfortunately, due to technical issues, didn't record it. So it's a double bogey on the last hole. So the final score was 43, 8 over. So basically shot my handicap, which is 16 over. I was happy with the three pars and the three grinning regulations and kept the ball in play well in parts. Uh, struggled with the heavy conditions but it's winter golf, that's what it's like in the UK, mud balls and everything like that. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Signing off.